Hey, McKenzie here with Unicast. Today we are going to do a critique. So RJ McCollum, fellow unicorn, has asked for a brutally honest uh, critique of his design. And he was kind enough to allow me to make a video out of this critique so that everyone could see it and uh, potentially learn from it. So let's get started. So my initial thoughts. Well, uh, overall, this is pretty solid design. He's using a uh, grid system, which is always good. Uh, he's got four columns. Uh, I'm not quite sure about this image. Uh, you can see right here, if I zoom in, there's some uh, visual tension. I do love the lines that it creates, especially because uh, this point uh, kind of goes towards uh, his call to action right here. There's a few spacing issues that I think we could clean up to improve this design, but overall I think this is uh, pretty well done. So uh, I'm just gonna go through and start tweaking some stuff for First, let's uh, take care of the banner. So I'm not sure, uh, as you can see, this little point right here is causing some visual tension just because it's so close to that box. Um, so maybe, let me grab the image and uh, bump it up a bit, try to uh, position it differently. Ooh, I kinda like that, because we get some nice lines um, in it. And we still get the uh, the lines pointing towards the uh, call to action. Um, let's uh, tweak the color. I'm going to go to the hue and saturation and just uh, play around with it a bit. Let's bump up the saturation. That looks pretty good. Maybe darken it slightly. Or maybe even lighten it. Kind of like the lightened look. Bump up the saturation a bit more. Yeah, I dig that. So next thing I see is, uh, let me pull up his grids. Whoa, got quite a few there. I'm gonna go up to, uh, I'm gonna go up to view and then uh, clear the grid. So I'm just gonna make a guide real quick. Make one in center and on the edges. All right, so I feel like this box right here should go all the way towards the edge or towards the center. So he's starting it at, um, I'm not sure how much, maybe like three, 4% on either side. So let's uh, extend this all the way to the edge. And then um, there's a few spacing things. For example, in the call to action, uh, he has more spacing on top uh, than he does on bottom. I feel like uh, naturally the title and the subtitle should be grouped together and then the button should be a standalone item. So I think if we, um, and then in addition to that, I feel like there should be more or the same amount of padding on top as there are on the sides. So if we do, let me just bring up the marquee. So it's 45 pixels high. If I do 45 pixels, to, yeah, that's perfect. So it should be like that, and then we'll line up the subtitle. There we go. And then the button, let's uh, take a look at that. The text seems uh, not quite centered, so I'll just drop that down a few pixels. And then again, let's do the same thing. So there's the same amount of height on either side. Uh, that looks about right. So this looks good. Um, we got a natural pairing uh, visually with the title and the subtitle, and then the button stands on its own. I feel like it's kind of low right now. So if I drop that up, let's just bring up the entire box a bit. That looks good. I wonder how it would look if, actually in his design, he has um, pretty much everything left justified. So let's uh, let's stick with that. So I'm liking that. Um, I feel like this font is a little too thin. It may be hard to read on some devices. Maybe I'd go up to a light, possibly even a regular font, font weight. Let's drop it down a bit. That looks good. What if we drop the color of the subtitle a bit? I'm just gonna drop the opacity. That way your eye is naturally drawn to, uh, even though it's a, a bold font, 
you'll land on the hello I'm RJ and then uh, see the subtitle and then want to know more get to know me click on that button that looks great I'm not liking what we did to that background let me remove that hue and saturation maybe what we need to do is drop the opacity a bit because he has a uh, black background on that uh, that does not look good let me just open up that those settings we did before um, yeah I'm just gonna drop in drop the light a bit we make it still a bit light. Um, there's still some visual tension right here um, with that little box. I do love all the lines in this picture though. So the next thing that I think I would tweak is are these uh, four column grids. One thing I really do not like is how um, the buttons are at different heights. It causes your eye to like jump back and forth. Um, and naturally your eye wants to flow left to right. So I think by default I would have them um, be on a grid uh, horizontally. That one's good, that one's good. And then maybe even uh, center these within each uh, column. So let's uh, let's try that. Center that. Let me see. So if this is a column, let's uh, center this text. Uh, for this text, uh, there's not really much of a distinction between the latest episode and this, minus that the title is slightly larger. I'd probably do this as a different color. So let me bring up the colors, maybe like a lighter gray, like a bluish gray. And I'd probably group this with the podcast. Actually, no, it makes more sense to group it with the title. Um, I don't quite understand why there's a view and listen. Uh, there's kind of a link and then a button. Uh, that's a little confusing to me. So I think I would just stick with just the button. And let's, uh, whoop, uh, didn't mean to move the background. Let's bring this text down so it's kind of centered. Let me see how that looks. Let me center the podcast. Hmm. Something feels off about that. Maybe it's just that the other ones aren't uh, centered either. I'm going to uh, center those other ones real quick. I really uh, do actually like that. Um, it kind of does bug me that there's this big negative space on here because it's not two lines to match the others. Um, but he could easily fix that by saying, um, uh, he built an application called KidKu and the, uh, tagline is save all the funny things your kids say. I'll just, uh, copy that and let's paste it in. Break it to two lines. That looks better to me. Uh, these, this font might be a uh, slightly large. Let's grab all of those and shrink it down a bit. Then let's center those up again. All right, that looks good. Um, these, I don't think, the dividers, I don't think need to be as bold. So I'm going to select those. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I think it'd be good if it was just like mid height. 
And then uh, I'm going to drop the opacity. Whoa. I accidentally grabbed that background image. Let me select those again. And then I'm going to drop the opacity of those borders. Let's bring it up. Make it centered. That looks pretty cool. So what does it look like if we center this call to action? If we do something like this, maybe center the text. Let's just see how it looks. Um, yeah, I really dislike that. <laughs> Let's keep it how RJ had it. Okay, so this is this is a lot stronger. This uh, emphasizes the grid. It's got a nice uh, call to action, uh, nice visual hierarchy here. Uh, these are all defined. I think making all of these columns centered and then everything uh, aligned horizontally, that's a, a nice touch. Um, next, let's take a look at his uh, signups. So he has an email signup and a uh, free course signup. So one, for one thing, they're both email courses. So I'm wondering why one is uh, on this page and why one you have to go to a new page. Um, he could have more copy explaining it. I assume that's that could be why. Um, actually, I don't think I would tweak anything here. Uh, maybe just uh, align the text so it's spaced same on top and bottom. I'll do the same here. Let me bring up that guide, line it up with that guide on the left. Um, all that other stuff looks good though. Let's look at the header. So I, I dig this logo. Um, I think it could uh, be slightly wider on the side to match the top and bottom. There we go. That looks good. Then let's look at over here. So something is bugging me about this menu. I think it's the font weight because uh, these lines are nice and bold and then this font is uh, semi-bold. Let's try making it bold, see what that looks like. Um, maybe it'd be stronger if we shrunk the text a bit and made it, ooh, I like that. That way it looks like a square visually. Uh, get in touch, I don't think it's quite centered. That looks good. And then one thing, I don't think these um, buttons down here are centered. There we go. So RJ, this is uh, obviously what I would do. Feel free to use this or not. It's up to you. But this was fun. We should do it again. If you uh, have a design that you want to have critiqued, uh, shoot me an email at mckinsey at unicast.com and uh, send me your PSD and maybe I'll uh, feature it in uh, another video.